Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to clone a virtual machine via export and import and also copying the virtual hard disk on Hyper-V. Before you embark on cloning, you need to make use of a tool which is called uh, SysPrep. This tool will remove every SID that is attached to a particular machine. Because if you don't do that, that um, SID, which is um, security and identification, will be duplicated. Each Windows operating system have a unique SID. And if you don't remove it, it will get duplicated, duplicated and uh, it will cause issues on a network. So I'm going to run that um, SysPrep now. I'll be going into my virtual machine. Um, this is my virtual machine, so you can go through run, then type sysprep, or if you know the location of uh, the executable file, you can as well do that. But this will also lead us into the location. So this is it. This is the sysprep. So I'm going to double click it now so that um, it's going to remove the SID on this machine so that we can start cloning it. So make sure you select enter system out of box experience, then click on generalize, then you can select shut down. So click OK. So once you click OK, the sysprep is working, it's processing, so it's going to shut, your, your system is shut down now. Then we can now continue with uh, other um, steps of cloning. So once the... Um, VM, that's the machine, is shut down. Then we can just we can move ahead to right click or just select. Not no need of right clicking. Select the virtual machine. Then by the right here, you will see export. Export button. Just click on it. Once you click on it. You can now specify where you want to save the files. So let me just specify where I want to save the file. I'm going to save the file here. So I'm selecting this folder. So I'm exporting now. So you will see the exporting process. It's going to count down to 100. So we are going to wait a little bit. So, but, but I'm going to pause the video now and come back. Yes, the exporting has now been completed. Um, if you want to confirm if it was successful, then we can just let's go into the folder itself. This is the folder that I exported the VM files to. This is it. So we have everything here is intact now. So what we need to do now is to import. So I'm going back to the Hyper-V manager. Then the next thing to do, let me hide this. So the next thing to do is um, let me click on the virtual machine um i think I, I need to let me stop it let me turn it off okay i've turned it off now so the next thing now is um to export uh, to import rather so you will see the import virtual machine at the top here so just click on it once you click on it just follow the wizard one after the other 
Then um, here is saying specify the folder containing the virtual machine to import. So we are going to locate the earlier folder we created for the export. So we are going to specify that here. So let me go into the folder. So this is the folder that has everything, all the VM files. So I'm selecting, I'm selecting it. So once that is done, just click next. Then you will see, you will see um, the virtual machine listed here. So I'm going to select this one. This is only one that is showing. So let me just click next. In case you have um, other ones, you will see it here, but this is the one we need. We need to clone. So I'm going to click next now. So on the choose import type, what we need to select here is copy the virtual machine, create a new unique ID. We need a, a new unique ID. We do not want any conflict or any issue on the network so click next so this is telling us to uh, choose a folder for the virtual machine files you can leave this as as it's a default setting you can uh, decide to change the location you just check this and you can change the location for the virtual machine configuration folder for the checkpoint store for the smart paging folder so i do not need to change this i'm going to leave it as the, as the default so let me just click next so where do you want to store the imported virtual hard disk for this virtual machine you can also decide to change this or leave it as uh, the default so I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to click next. So click finish. It's copying the file now, importing it. So once you are done, you will see the um, VM machine will be cloned here. It will show you immediately this is successful. Let's just wait briefly. So it has finished um, importing now. You can see the VM has been cloned. It's showing below here. This is it. So that is just a simple way to export and import your VM um, files. So um, we can go ahead and launch the cloned um, virtual machine now so it is um, very easy to import to export and import at the same time so another way we can clone our virtual machine is uh, through copying the files so once you if you select a virtual machine now just go to settings on the settings you can get to know the location click on our drive this is the virtual disk location so from here now just click browse it will browse to this location and you can copy the virtual disk uh, file out just copy it and place it in a location 
that you want or you can create a folder here put the same um, the same virtual disk into it or you can paste it here or change the name rename it so once you are done then you go back you go back and on the action pane here just click on new you will see virtual machine click on virtual machine under the um, just follow the wizard one after the other till you get to this uh, connect virtual hard disk so once you are here make sure you select use an existing virtual hard disk so you just browse to the copied um, virtual hard disk browse to that location select it and you are good to go just click next and your virtual machine will be cloned just by copying the virtual hard disk and renaming it so that those are the steps you can take in cloning your virtual machine and there won't be an issue just make sure the sys prep is done at the beginning of um, before you start the cloning process just make sure you do it and you will be good you, you you are good to go in cloning a virtual machine so i think um you enjoy the video and thank you for watching